Hey Imaginary Internet friends, it's Miles Kratz. I'm back. It's been a couple days, so obviously I need to completely rebrand myself and try a new look. Uh, a few things going on. My brother has a new dog, and she refuses to leave my side, so if you hear some panting in the background, that's probably her. It could be me. I'm pretty out of shape, but I mean, I think you would see it too. Um, so there's that. <clears throat> new dog, new look. And we're gonna play a new game today. And this game is called My Summer Car. It's a great game for the summer, which is, you know, fastly r running away. And man, it's like almost fall already, isn't it? Not a great time for this video. But anyway, this game's called My Summer Car. It's a game in which you rebuild an old project car, one that you were actually born in. And yeah, it takes place in Finland in 1995. There's a lot of uh, life simulation stuff that goes on inside of it too, and it's a really fun game. Um, but hey, I made a whole video about it, so why don't we watch that instead? Let's get mild. My Summer Car is a car construction life simulation game that takes place during the summer months of Finland in 1995. The game starts out where any logical story should with the introduction of the main character. In this case, it's you, and you're just being born in the back of a familiar looking hatchback in the summer of 1976. Then we suddenly flash forward to 1995. The car you were previously being birthed in is now appropriately your birthright. However, it is also completely in shambles. It is your job, presumably, as the enterprising Finnish youth you so obviously are, to reconstruct this vehicle using a small toolkit and some lifts and car jacks you have in your small garage outside. That about covers my extensive knowledge of this game with regards to plot, character development, overarching themes and player goals. So I'll just move right along to how this game works, or sometimes doesn't work. Let's talk about controls real quick. They're not great. They're extremely precise to the point of making Payday 2 look overwhelmingly forgiving. They're also really cumbersome and a bit sluggish. Also, as best I can tell, your character doesn't have a great way of switching between standing, stooping, and crouching, so you'll find yourself going through all three of these positions almost constantly. It kind of makes me feel like I'm constantly flipping back and forth through the different stages of human evolution, and it's just a weird aspect of this game. I genuinely don't believe you need an intermediate height between crouching and standing, but I'm hoping further progress through this game might prove me wrong. Another somewhat complicated aspect of this game are the two different player control modes, hand mode and tool mode. The differences between these two modes took me a little getting used to, mostly just because it's completely foreign to my own way of thinking. It's like if you're holding a wrench, you can't open the refrigerator. That would be ridiculous. But then I thought back to my experiences in real life of holding a wrench and trying to open the fridge, and it actually all made perfect sense. So, among our very limited tools are a set of spanners that you'll be changing between all the time. Although this keeps with the simulation element of the game, and appropriately replicates the frustrations of having the wrong size wrench, it somewhat quickly becomes an aggravating part of this game. With most parts requiring you to screw them in at least one place or another, you'll be spending a lot of time changing out wrenches. And if you're smarter than I am at all, you might consider moving the toolbox closer to the car. In an effort to show you the car constructing element of this game, I have attached the doors and boot lid of this car, as well as the headlights. But even that was challenging, considering the effective handiness I have, even in a virtual environment, for all things mechanical. For more information on how to build this car, watch a more qualified YouTuber tutorial the car building segments in one of probably more than a thousand YouTube series already out there for this game. 
In the meantime, I'll be moving on to the more important elements of the game, the life simulation aspects. As you have no doubt noticed by now, there are a number of conditions that can affect your character, such as their own mortality, for example. Does this mean your character can die? Of course. Although this isn't something I have experienced thus far, I imagine your character can meet with a variety of different fates, and with any luck, I will experience the thrills of death in my future playthrough of this game. There are other conditions, however, that need to be addressed more commonly, such as hunger, thirst, fatigue, dirtiness, and urine. This is, of course, famously because Finnish people do not poop. There are, I'm sure, several different possibilities for remedying one's thirst, but the simplest I have found includes drinking one of the beers left on the table in your kitchen. I'm also quite certain there are a number of ways of reducing your hunger, but I'm even more certain that I don't know any of them. However, drinking beer seems to have the effect of reducing your hunger too, so I just doubled down on that idea. And by doubling down, I mean that I drank about six or seven beers. It was at this point, the noisy fly buzzing around my head had really began to annoy me, so I decided that I would do my best to figure out how to take a shower. But that proved fruitless. Alas, I was either too drunk or too stupid to figure out how to turn on the shower head. So I stumbled over to the moped and tried my very best to make my way to the store, where, I'm told, you can buy bug spray which will help in reducing the fly buzzing around your head. As it turns out though, Driving the moped while intoxicated is no easy task, especially considering you have to manually switch gears. I think my combined efforts of driving the moped got me about two to three hundred feet down the road. As I stumbled intoxicatedly down the road, I pondered on the many poor decisions that had brought me here and thought to myself, I think I need some professional help. So that was a very small glimpse into my summer car. It's a game with a lot to do, and it uh, kind of does a few things really well. I like the fact that it's an experience as opposed to just a game. So there are different things you can do. I don't think I really ended up showing you. There's a key you can press just to swear at people, uh, and then another one that gives them the middle finger, along with swearing at them. So, uh, just uh, there are a few things in this game, some experience type stuff. It would take too long, I think, to show in just a review video. But because that's the case, I've decided to use this game, I think, maybe to get back into some streaming. So I might do some YouTube Live stuff or some Twitch stuff coming up here in a little bit. Um, and I'm mild crats for either of those. So go ahead and add me if you haven't, and keep an eye on any alerts. I'm thinking within the next couple, couple weeks, I'm going to get online. I'm going to try and play this game without looking at any tutorials or any walkthroughs and that sort of thing. And I'm going to let you guys be my eyes and ears and my, my professionals. As I said, I'm going to need professional help. Um, I have never built a car. I'm not particularly handy. I mean, I, I built my own computers and stuff, so I know some of the hardware that goes inside of that. But that's like as complicated as a toaster. Uh, a car is definitely a little bit out of my realm, so I'm going to need a lot of help. If you guys want to drop by on my Twitch channel or on YouTube Live and let me know what I should be doing, what I'm doing wrong, uh, that'd be great, because I'm just going to keep doing this, I think, until I have a finished product. And so you guys are really going to be responsible for my car. That's my, that's my cop out anyway, so if it never gets done, it's, um, it's your fault. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming back, or if this is your first time, thanks for being here. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.